Welcome to the final section of this module. What I want to show you in this section before finishing up is where you can find a resource that can help you to trade using these candlestick patterns. And so you can know where to put the stop loss and things like that, for example. So you're just going to go here in Edge Trading Academy and you're going to go down to the resources tab. Once at the resources tab, you're going to click on that and you're going to click on cheat sheets. And then you just want to find the candlestick cheat sheet, which is right here and click on download here. This cheat sheet is awesome. And it's going to show you just like it says here, how to spot and trade Japanese candlestick formations to give you a true edge in the market. So let me show you how you can use this cheat sheet to be more successful in the market. You can see here on this cheat sheet that we have all the different bullish reversal patterns. And that means that there needs to be a downtrend and then it's going to reverse and start going up the other way. So you can see we have bullish up here. We have the bullish hammer. We have the bullish inverted hammer and I'll continue down. We have the bullish engulfing, bullish tweezer tops, bullish morning star, bullish three white soldiers and bullish three inside up. So we have all those different patterns there. And then we have all the bearish patterns. So a bearish pattern reversal pattern would mean that the market is trending up and it's going to reverse and start going back down the other way. So you can see that we have all the different patterns as well that we talked about for the reversal pattern on an upward trend. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through a couple examples just to show you how you can use this cheat sheet. It'd be great if you can print this cheat sheet because it can definitely help you in the market. So let's look at the bullish hammer, for example. You can see here on the left that there's an explanation of how to trade it. So it says, look for the bullish hammer at the bottom of a downtrend. Then it says, wait for the next candle to close above the high of the bullish hammer to confirm the existence of bullish force. So you can see here that we have the bullish hammer. And then you can see here that it says to wait for the next candle, which would be this candle here, to close above the high, which is where this yellow line is, the high of the bullish hammer. So you can see, for example, that this candle closed all the way up here, which is obviously above the high of this bullish hammer. So that's where you want to place your long order. A long order, remember, is a buy order. So then it says here, open a long position and then place a stop loss below the low of the bullish hammer. So you place your stop loss down here. So this shows you exactly what the pattern would look like, that it'd be a downtrend. You'd have the bullish hammer and then you'd want to wait for that bullish candle confirmation here to then place your order. So we'll go ahead and just look at another one here. In fact, I'll move down to this one, let's say bullish engulfing. So you're going to look for it at the bottom of a downtrend. You're going to wait for the next candle to close above the high of the bullish engulfing candle to confirm the existence of bullish force. So you can see here for bullish engulfing, like we learned that it needs to start below here and then completely engulf this candle here, this bearish candle. So the bullish one right here completely engulfs it. And then what this tells us is we then want to wait for the next candle to confirm that bullish force. So we would place our long order here after that candle closed, and then we would place our stop loss down here, like it says here, at the low of the bullish engulfing candle, so right here. So you can see how this cheat sheet can really help you out, and it can help you spot reversals here at the bottom of downtrends and here at the top of uptrends. And then once you've trained your eye to spot these at the top of these trends or at the bottom of these trends to spot these reversal candlestick patterns, then you can use this cheat sheet to know where you should place your stop loss where you should get into the order. And this is gonna help you to trade successfully using these Japanese candlestick patterns. So take advantage of this sheet that we made for you. It took us a lot of time to create this and make it very clear on what the pattern looks like and then how to trade the pattern. So take advantage of this sheet that we made so that you have this true edge in the market to trade using Japanese candlestick patterns. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.